How's it going everybody? So I figured in this video I'd show you how to put some emulators on the original Xbox. I was looking at this thing today and I looked at my emulators folder and empty. Games. Empty. Homebrew. Empty. And it was like that because I literally haven't touched this thing since I soft modded it four videos ago. So uh, let's just get straight into it. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to open up Google Chrome and we're going to type in emulators for the original Xbox. You can see I already have it searched because I know my shit to enter. And you'll see the first site here is xbmcxbox.blogspot.com. We're going to go ahead and click that. And this is pretty much going to give you a list of every emulator you can think of for the original Xbox. So I'm going to go ahead and download just a select few. I think what I'm going to grab is the Atari 2600, the original Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, Sega Genesis, PlayStation 1, and Game Boy Advance. So I'm going to do seven emulators in this video, and I'm going to show you guys the gist of how to get it all done. So I'm just going to go ahead and run down the list. I'm going to show you guys how to uh, download these from the site. So I'm going to start with the uh, Atari systems here. And I'm going to download this, uh, let's do Z26X for the Atari 2600. It, it all says recommended, so I don't think it matters. So I'm just going to go ahead and click this. And you'll see it'll give a download link here. So once you click that, it should automatically download. By the way, if you don't have WinRAR, you totally should, or 7-zip at the very least to compress all your files for this. I'll leave a link in the description for everything below. So I'm just going to go back, and we're done with Atari here, at least for me. And we'll see Sega here, Neo Genesis, so I'm just going to click that. And it looks like this is Sega Genesis, Mega Drive, Sega CD, Mega CD, and all that jazz. So I'm just going to go ahead and click download for that. I'm going to go back. We got Super Nintendo, Z, S, N, E, S box is what I'm going to go with. Pretty much always go with the recommended. You don't have to, but that's kind of what I'm going to do here. And then just click it, get it downloading. We have uh, FCE Ultra here. I'm just going to click that. Get that downloading. And that is for the original Nintendo, obviously. Um, portable gaming systems. We got the X-Boy Advance. This is the Game Boy Color slash Game Boy Advanced emulator. So same thing. It's pretty much going to be the same thing for all of this. That doesn't seem to be working. Oh, I guess it just gave me a crappy page. All right. And... That one's done. What else? N64. We have Surreal 64 here, so I'm just going to download that. And Sony PlayStation. We got the PCS Xbox. We're just going to download that. And uh, I think that's it. Is that seven? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that's seven. So I'm just going to go ahead and let the downloads finish for all this, and then we'll continue from there. So see you soon. All right, so you can see that these are all downloaded now because they're in my download folder. And we're going to go ahead and make a folder on the desktop because I like organizing things a little better here. So you don't have to do this. This is optional, but I'm going to create a new folder and call it Xbox Emulators. And I'm going to just drag and drop all of these into there and from here we're gonna extract these all individually so I'm just gonna right click Neo Genesis here and we're gonna go to extract to Neo Genesis and we're gonna do this with all of these uh, FCE Ultra extract to PCS Xbox extract to Surreal 64 extract to Xboy Advance, Extract 2. This is the Atari 2600, Extract 2. And which one am I missing here? Um, I think it's this one. ZSNE Xbox. 
So now that we have these all extracted, we're pretty much ready to go ahead and put these into the Xbox. So things that you're going to need before we start, once again, I'll leave a link for everything in the description below, but you're going to need a file transfer program. I already have mine downloaded and installed, but you're going to want WinSCP. Again, I'll leave a link in the description. And you're also going to need uh, your Xbox to be connected to your router box. So you're going to need an Ethernet cable plugged into your Xbox and the other end into your router. If you're unable to do that because your router is in a different room, you can buy a Wi-Fi repeater and you can plug it into the repeater instead. This is just to get your IP address from your original Xbox. So I already know mine. So I'm going to go ahead and go to File Protocol and go to FTP. I'm going to type in my IP address. And the username and password are always Xbox and Xbox. Also, the port number is also 21, so that's fine. So we're going to log in. So the left side is the PC and the right side is the Xbox. So we're just going to go ahead and go to the E folder here. And you're going to notice we don't have anything called emulators or anything of the sort. So we're going to right click, go to new directory, and we're going to call this emulators and hit OK. And from here, it's pretty simple. We're just going to drag everything we just extracted into there. But you have to be careful for surreal 64, for example, creates a subfolder within a subfolder. So, um, FCE Ultra here, we're just going to drag that in. Neo Genesis should be good, drag that in. And I'm probably just going to fast forward through all the transfers here and just show you what you need to know. PlayStation 1, toss that in. Surreal 64, now this is, has a subfolder in it, so we're going to make sure we toss in the subfolder, not the whole thing, or else it won't work. Okay, next up we have X-Boy Advance, we can just drag that in. Atari 2600. And lastly, ZSNES box, which has a subfolder in it. So once again, drag the subfolder in, not the whole folder itself, or it won't work. All right, so congratulations. We have the emulators on the consoles, but we're not done yet, so we have to add the ROM still. So uh, each of these is kind of the same, kind of different, but I'll go through the main ones with you. So. FCE Ultra, you need the ROMs to be extracted. Uh, PlayStation 1, obviously, aren't ROMs, they're ISOs, but you'll need a .bin and .q file. Everything else, you can leave the ROMs in the RAR or ZIP file, but I'll show you how to do the first three. So we'll start with FCE Ultra, which is NES. You're going to navigate to the NES ROMs folder. And it even says put ROMs here. So just give me one second, I'm going to grab a ROM. Okay, so you can see I went with the ROM Karate Champ. So I'm going to kind of right click it and go to Extract to Karate Champ. And I'm going to open it and you're going to see I have all these different revisions. I'm just going to go with the main revision here. This may be different depending on what game you're choosing. But I'm going to go with this one here and drag that in. Now I'm not going to put in hundreds of thousands of games because I'm just trying to make this a nice simple video. So I'm going to do one game per emulator and then at the very end of the video I'll test a few. So let's go ahead and back out. We're all set with NES and we'll do Neo Genesis next. So Neo Genesis, we're going to go to SGen ROMs and we're going to go ahead and toss in a ROM in the RAR format into this one. So just give me one second. So for this one, I went with Michael Jackson's Moonwalker because, you know, why not? Game's badass. And we're going to back out and we're done with Genesis. Next up is PlayStation 1. Now what's cool about this is usually when you have a PlayStation 1 emulator or 2 or anything of the sort, you need BIOS. The download actually comes included with the BIOS, so you don't have to worry about anything like that. So we're going to navigate into PCX CDs and put CD images here. It's pretty self-explanatory, so just give me one second. So you can see here I have Crash Bandicoot. Right here in the RAR folder, if it looks like this, you're gonna right-click and just go to Extract here. 
and this should give you your .bin and .q folder. So what I'm going to do in here just to kind of pretty things up, I'm going to make a subfolder. And I'm just going to call this Crash Bandicoot. And from here, I'm going to drag in the .bin and .q folder into this. And we're just going to let that transfer. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and go back. And we'll do Surreal64. So I think from the remainder here, Surreal64, Exploit Advance, uh, Atari, and Super Nintendo, you can just leave your games in the extracted format. And it's pretty simple. You can just click it. They all have a ROMs folder, GBA ROMs, and you're just going to drag your ROMs into there. So I'll see you when I'm done with everything else. All right, so I have my ROMs all set and ready to go inside of these. So we're just going to go ahead and close down the program and then head back over to the Xbox. So just go to Session, Close Session, and then you can exit out all this, and I'll meet you on the console. And now we'll let this load up and watch this sweet intro. I remember watching this as a kid and just being like, whoa. And now, uh, once the dashboard shows up here, we're going to go ahead and go to emulators. And you'll see everything we did is here. So I think I'm going to just play the main three that people are going to have their bugaboos with. And the first one will be the PlayStation 1 emulator. So let's go ahead and start that up. That's PCX Xbox. And once you're here, you're going to go to Select Game. And you're going to see I have Crash Bandicoot right here. And inside of it is the .q and the .bin file. It doesn't matter which one you click to my knowledge, so I'm just going to go with the .bin. And I'm not going to play this for too long because I don't want this video to take forever. So I'll just play maybe a minute, if that just to make sure everything's running right. But so far, just uh, listening to the sound here of the game, everything seems to be running fine. Doesn't seem to be very glitchy, so I'm just gonna start and mash through it. And I'm not noticing any skipped frames or anything like that. So, no, this is actually running pretty great. No problems so far. Oh, until I died. But that's all right. You guys got the gist of it. It is up and running. So, if you want to navigate back to the dashboard, there is a shortcut on the controller. You can hit the left trigger, right trigger, back button, and black button. This will do a soft reset on the console and take you back to the dashboard. Now, from here, we're going to go back to emulators. And we're going to open up Surreal 64, which is obviously Nintendo 64. And the reason I'm showing you this one is because a lot of people have problems with the plugins or just don't flat out understand them. So I have Super Smash Bros. in here. And you can see we have a whole bunch of menus here, each with their own individual plugins. So I'm just going to pick a random one. We'll go to PJ6414. And you'll see we have all these plugins here. So. Each plugin does have a difference. You have to play around with it to really understand what works best with which game. So I'm just going to show you the difference and I'll show you two different plugins. So we'll start with Rice 6.11 for Super Smash here and let this load up. And I'm just going to mash through this here. Now you can see the by default here, Super Smash Bros, this doesn't look right. So some sprites are clearly missing. We go into training here. You can look at the, the hand that we use to pick shit. It, it's all pixelated and it's all fucked up. So that's pretty much what the plugins are for. So different plugins will make a game run worse or smoother. So if you want to go back and repick your plugin, right click the thumbstick, the right thumbstick, and go to quit to ROMs list. So I've had problems with these before where I was playing Fox, for example, and uh, I go to shoot the gun and the sprite for the laser is just gone. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing again, but this time do Rice 6.12. And once again, this is really just a playing around with this kind of game to figure out what runs best. But you can see here that the sprites are here now. Uh, go to same exact thing. 
and the hand looks better now. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick Fox and we'll start a quick game just to see how it runs. So it seems like it is skipping frames a little bit now. Uh, it's not too bad. It doesn't seem very often. I know you saw that with that kick though. It was very, uh, very slow-mo. But overall, it's not terrible, but you get the gist of it. Um, you just kind of got to play around with it to get it working right. So on to the next one. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the dashboard. And the very last one that we're going to try here is going to be Exploit Advance. And the reason is by default, nine times out of 10, you're going to run into problems saving your games because there's going to be an error code. I forget what the error code says, but it has to do with the ability to save the games. It's actually a pretty sweet intro over here. Whoa, that's loud. Let's turn that down. So we're going to go to select game. And I have Pokemon Fire Red. And we're going to hit X to config. Once you're in here, you're going to notice your flash size. It may say 64K. If it does say 64K, you need to change it to 128K. This is what will give you the ability to save your games. It's very important. You don't want to play like... You don't want to play fucking Pokemon, go through the whole introduction, and then be like, sorry, you can't, can't save, save your game, game, and then you got to do it all over again. Or, God forbid, you play for three hours, and then you can't save. So, this part's very important. But, once you have 128K, you can hit B. And everything should run smoothly from there. You really shouldn't have any problems. But, if you do, you can leave a comment down below, and I'll do what I can to help you out. And I'm not going to play too much of this because you, like I just said, it'll be a lot of waiting around and a lot of talking. But that's pretty much it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping this video up. So I'll meet you guys back at the dashboard. All right, guys. So I think that about wraps it up here. If you guys run into any issues, leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to get back to you. I'm also going to be leaving a link to my Discord channel. And the first 10 people to click the link will be getting in. I'll be doing this hopefully with every video letting people in a little bit at a time I'm just trying to get things a little organized and situated but uh if you like my content that i'm putting out and you want me to put out something similar or if you have a recommendation leave a comment down below drop a like maybe a subscribe and i'll catch you guys later adios